achieve it. So, Your Excellency, thank you so much for nurturing uh, the polytechnics, and that is the way to go. Thank you so much, Your Excellency, and for coming to Nigeria again. Karibu sana, Your Excellency. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, David. And now, Your Excellency, as I stand here, uh, though I'm not a student of history, I really would want to say that in 1924, this journey began. This journey began in Kabete, where the Catholics themselves decided that it was right and okay for them to begin the polytechnics and teacher skills towards uh, perfection and towards meeting their needs. Your Excellency, over time, we did in fact grow to other places, but like David has said, we got to a situation where we failed in our planning, we did mess the education system. By the time you became Minister of Education, number one, there was a backlog, people could not go to university, and they had to wait for three years. We had the TVETs and the technical institutions as what David has described schools for failures. But when you came, you became the beacon of light, number one. You completely removed any backlog of university intake. If anybody wants to walk back in history, remember it began with uh, uh, Dr. William Samoy Ruto when he was minister. Second thing you did, you converted the entire thinking around the TVET. I am well aware that you did not only focus on national polytechnics, you focused even on village polytechnics, where you helped around 2013 to introduce the capitation of 15,000 per student. This went on, went on well and increased our uptake, and we started changing our thinking as Kenyans. Today, as we stand here, Your Excellency, out of an idea that came from you, we are almost ensuring that every constitution constituency in Kenya has a TVET that is working. We want to thank you greatly. And as I stand here, I would want to tell those naysayers who think that Kenya can only produce white-collar jobs, that the direction you are taking us, Your Excellency, is the direction to go. It is pointless for us to continue churning out of our universities political scientists who have no skills. Today, we want people with skills. When you bring in your afford the, the affordable program, uh, housing product, uh, program from the Kenya Kwanzaa government, Your Excellency, we need the people who can work there. Today we have seen marvels. As we stood there, a young man was telling us that in the last few days, he has earned half a million Kenya shillings through that kind of program. This is the way to go, Your Excellency, and we want to encourage you. As you push on, it will be a little painful. We will call you Zakayo Maramingi, Lakini, Your Excellency, keep going. Because the challenge we have in this world is for those people, we have very few brave men and women, and like you t have told us many times, you are not thinking about the next election, you are thinking about the next generation. And therefore, Your Excellency, I want to encourage you and to thank you as you push on. It is my duty to welcome you to this county, which is your second home. Every time you come, we are very gratified. You have already heard a number of my MPs talking about your commitment towards the cancer center. It, we cannot say more. We wish you the very best, but your excellency, as we stand here, we still have a challenge with Rorengo. Rorengo, your excellency, we, are, we still have a big challenge. The work that has been done there is short day. Even the tartan track that has been done cannot be used by athletes. Your Excellency, Kunjangumi. Apolazima Kunjangumi. Having said that, ladies and gentlemen, I now have the pleasure to invite Waziri Machogu, Waziri Wa Elimu, Aje Azungumze, Nam Karibisha Rais. Karibu sana, Waziri. Yes, 